welcome back to my channel everyone today I'll show you how to create colorful glass ball it's something fun and cool so let's get started as always I'll first create a document by clicking on file new and then change inches into pixels then change the word to 1200 and height to 1000 and the resolution to 150 which is very important for quality then press ok now i am going add a gradient effect by clicking on the adjustment layer icon then the style will remain as linear and i'm going to change the preset to black and white then ok and ok again now clicking onto the view menu make sure rulers and snap are checked you will be able to tell if it has a tick next to it we now have a ruler on the canvas so what i am going to do now is mark the center of the canvas by dragging the ruler which will mark the midpoint using the guidelines i am going to draw a circle using the elliptical marquee tool to make sure the circle is equal hold down shift and alt then from the center point of the canvas draw the circle then i need to create a new layer this can be easily done by the create a new layer icon to fill the background color of the new layer one go to edit fill and change the contents used to black then click OK followed by select deselect so the elliptical shape isn't in focus so moving on layer 1 will now have some blending options added to it to do this right click on a layer 1 then click on blending options then I'm going to apply color overlay to the circle and of course change the color I am opting for blue with RGB value 0078FE. Then I am going to apply inner glow and change the color code to 000D4E. Then click OK. Now the element source will be as structure opacity is 75 and element size to 250 pixels then click ok i am going to create another layer now so as you can see layer 2 has been created and just like before i am going to set the fill color to black so again edit fill black has already been selected so click ok and the background is all black moving on to the interesting part of the tutorial click on the filter menu and select render then lens flare here select the lens type 50 to 300 mm zoom and click ok then going back to the filter menu select distort and polar coordinates then change to polar to rectangular and click ok next select the edit menu then transform and flip vertical then going back to the filter menu distort and polar coordinates again select the rectangular to polar and click ok now what i am going to do is hold the control key and select layer 1 which shows the outline of the shape in layer 1 then I'm going to add a layer mask on layer 2 like so and then click on the link icon to unlink the layer mask. Now I'm going to select the first thumbnail and activate free transform tool Control and T on the keyboard. Holding down shift and alt resize the shape so that is the same as the blue circle this may take some trial and error so take your time once done click on the confirmation mark or hit enter 
then change the layer blend mode to luminosity which adds a beautiful hue to it now i'll need to change the lighting effect by going to adjustment layer then levels here we are not going to directly change the lighting settings so creating a clipping mask will add the effect to the shape only which is what we want so click on layer create clipping mask next time going to make some changes go to the properties on the levels layer by firstly changing this figure from 255 to 160 I'm also going to link layer 2 and the layer mask together by clicking in between the thumbnails. Then making sure levels 1 is selected. Holding down shift key select layer 2 and layer 1 and group them by pressing ctrl and G. Then duplicate the group by pressing ctrl and J which creates group 1 copy. Remaining on the copied group layer, go to edit, transform and flip vertical. Then select the move tool and drag the elliptical shape to the bottom just like this. Now we need to add some effects to make it look realistic as a shadow. Firstly I am going to change the opacity to 30%. Then add a layer mask to the group 1 copy. The next step is to unlink the layer mask from the thumbnail so like before click on the link icon to unlink. Now using the gradient tool and holding down the shift key drag the mouse from the bottom of the elliptical shadow to the tip which then applies a gradient effect making it look more realistic. Unlinking the layer mask and the thumbnails and yours the effect will only be applied on the shape the ruler lines that are on the canvas are no longer needed so get rid of them press ctrl and h then hold the shift key and select group 1 copy and group 1 then by selecting the move tool i can use the up arrow or mouse to move the shape around the desired position now I am going to group both group 1 and group 1 copy layers into group 2 by pressing ctrl and G. Then I am going to create hue saturation layer by going to adjustment layer then hue saturation. Like before I do not want to apply any effect to the background so creating a clipping mask again is very useful. For this go to layer create clipping mask easily done. Now I can choose a hue which will set the color of the circle, feel free to experiment. So that is the end of the tutorial on how to create a glass ball. Save your masterpiece as JPEG format. I hope that you all have learned something new today. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe.